Hey guys, it's Tuesday and I said I'd come back with an update about the windows. Um, in my previous videos, I mentioned that uh, we are in the process of trying to get our basement windows replaced. Um, we did find out that our home is been around since 1975. Um, I don't know exactly what month the house was built, but I know it was in 75. So the windows that are in my basement are apparently the original windows. Um, I have to apologize here for the darkness here. Um, I have the window here with a little bit of light. Um, I don't know if you can you can see, um, but um, we're doing with what we can right now. My battery was going low and I had to charge it over here where I charge it on a regular basis. Um, but anyways, uh, the gentleman uh, who we contacted. We contacted this company that not only does windows, um, they do siding and eaves troughs, which um, if the windows turn out uh, really good, we're going to go back and get the others done in time. Um, I think the next thing will be after the windows will be either the eaves troughs or the driveway, whatever comes first. But uh, Brian called this company and he set up an arrangement for the guy to come out to give us a free quote and the guy didn't show up the day that he was supposed to and I guess there was a miscommunication on Brian's part and um, he finally did get a hold of him and he finally set it up and the guy did come. Uh, he took pictures of the windows. Um, he went over things with Brian. Um, he... His business has been in business for 30 plus years or some, and he had his tablet with him, which he showed Brian some previous work of um, other customers in the area and houses like ours that he has worked on. Um, he did say that uh, we do have a draft coming through the old windows because the old windows, they're not insulated. So we're going to lose... and we've we've been here going on almost two years and we're losing money so why not do something when we can to deal with the situation so we could save money and not have to freeze when we're going downstairs to the bathroom freeze when I'm doing laundry freeze when I'm trying to work on my full-size computer you know or watch television you know, um, we're coming into winter, and Julia can't really play much down there because it's so cold. And when we put the fireplace on that's down there, it, depending on what setting we set it at, which we've kept it, um, usually all winter we keep it at um, 15, and we're spending money, wasting money that we shouldn't be because of the draft and the original windows. So... Um, make a long story short, um, we filled out the paperwork, he said he was going to call us back, he ended up calling Friday at 6 o'clock, I missed the phone call because I was trying to turn my music off so he didn't have to hear my loud music, tried to answer the phone, but it went straight to the answer machine, got the message to tell Brian to call him, Brian tried calling him on Saturday, got no answer, he called yesterday uh, after we had got back from picking up Julia from the bus and had to leave a message. Kevin finally called at like, it was just after 8 or so, I think it was like 8.30 or something. And Brian was kind of awake but kind of sleeping. Um, he heard the phone ring but didn't want to answer it. Thought I was near the phone. I couldn't answer the phone because I was in the room with Julia trying to get her to bed as she was reading to me and I was supposed to read a book to her but then I was getting too comfortable in her bed and I started dozing a little bit so I said well I gotta go so I finished off with her went in the room got the message Brian got a little bit agitated and said well he should respect what's he doing calling this late at night I said I don't know maybe he's working late or maybe he called from his personal cell phone. So I think Brian did try calling him back but got no answer. Um, he is going to call back tonight. Um, we do 
well, I personally think two things that um, st stopped everything. Um, let me just say we didn't get approved to do the uh, pay a little now and pay the rest starting in September. Um, that didn't happen because um, I don't know if he's going off um, my credit card, which um, I'm a little bit kind of maxed out, but not really. I have a little bit of money, but uh, just enough to do gas. Um, yeah. Um, so, the gas money, well, no, not the gas money. The credit card, I think, is one of the problems. The other problem is we have, it's like a second mortgage. It's, well, it is a second mortgage on the house, but it's a grant. Uh, we went through um, the home in Peel. Like, we live in the region of Peel, and we went with the home in Peel, and they gave us a grant to purchase a home. And they, their uh, agreement, or their rules were, you got approved, and you had to live in your home for a year plus, and then that second grant, you didn't have to pay. Um... It was kind of like a bonus kind of thing. The papers already came in um, last year. We signed, we signed the papers. We sent them back. And everything was cool. So basically what it is right now, um, we've already been to the bank about, lowing, uh, about lowering our interest rate. Because the interest rates are somewhat pretty good. And the bank's like, why are you paying such a high interest rate? Well, see, we took cash back. And I'm glad that we did take cash back because we needed a new washer and dryer. The washer and dryer that were here before were in bad shape. I'll tell you why. Brian and Jason went to bring them up so that they could put the new ones in. They fell apart. There was water, like, totally in them, and they fell apart. The stove looked so bad, I don't even think cleaning it would help. So I'm glad I replaced the stove. The fridge looked salvageable, but I wanted it to match which... Um, I wanted the fridge to match the stove. And the other reason why we wanted to buy appliances was they had a white stove, a white fridge, and a stainless steel dishwasher. So we wanted to match the stainless steel dishwasher to go with this beautiful kitchen which needs a little bit of tweaking and there's a lot of other stuff in the house that needs to be tweaked but over time we'll get to it so anyways um, for us to get our payments down on our mortgage to bring them around 1200 a month which is a nice sensible amount than what we're paying now um, we have to give back that line of credit that they so kindly gave us. So we either give back the money and our payments will go down and we'll be able to save more money or we just tough it out for five years and then everything will be switched around and hopefully our payments will go down more than what they are now. Um, we did have to pay high in the, in the property taxes because we had to catch up so once once we got caught up, uh, we're saving about fifty bucks a month, which has helped totally. On a, I can't say how amazing it is to be able to save that money. Um, it has already bought in Julia's Christmas presents because I I managed to save, and I'm gonna continue to save now to get the money together for um, going to the dentist, taking the cats to the vet and getting Brian four new tires for his car. So, you know, we're looking at possibly maybe January, February, maybe March, but I'm going to I'm going to get there. Brian said he thought I wouldn't be um 
He thought I wasn't going to be able to do it, but I proved him wrong because I've been doing it since the day it started. And we started saving uh, since September 1st. And when I have a goal and I'm serious about something, I stick with it. I was really serious about getting a screen door and getting the driveway done this spring that passed. But, um, oh, I got an itch here, sorry. Um, one thing led to another and Brian ended up having to get a nice root canal done. And you all know what a root canal costs. Over a thousand dollars. Plus. And that is pretty expensive. So, I had to take that money that we so hard at saving it and I was doing so well. I had the money for the screen door, I had the money for the driveway, everything was on a roll, and then bam, we got slapped with the fact that Brian had to get his root canal done. So I told him, I said, this time when we go to the dentist, which I had changed the appointments around so that it was workable for him, I says, we go to the dentist in January, I don't want to hear you have another root canal. Because, honestly, I don't have no money for it. And... Well, my screen door money, well, that went out the door because I learned another valuable lesson. I had to pay my hydro. Pay the hydro or get shut off. Because we learned over the year we have a smart meter. So doing everything after 7, I was, like, shocked in the price. I'm like, hell yeah. You know, the price is so much better. When I do everything after 7, I do large loads of laundry, um, I'm taking the laundry out when it's dry, putting in what needs to be dry, what's left, and I'm not wasting, you know, I'm using the energy properly. So, anyways, um, I just wanted to let you know that uh, we, we did not get approved, but we're going to talk tonight and s hopefully get a hold of him without this phone tag stuff that's going on and see what really is stopping us from going forward. Not saying we can't, uh, we can, but um, we'll have to see. But um, other than that, um, we're going to find out if we can come back in the spring after income tax time, if that would be better if we can't work on something now because I, I have the money for the check to go through. I just have to get it from the bank and it'll take like two, three days to do so because um, we have one of those tax-free savings accounts. So it takes a couple of days for you to get your money transferred. But um, other than that, things should be okay. Um, so I guess that's about it. Um, I'm going to let my phone charge and uh, I'll talk to you guys again soon. And I'll let you know uh, what the verdict and the news is from today.